Uh, hi everyone, today is Saturday, June 15, 2013. What you see here are some of my cuttings, and these are the own choice in Chinese, or also known as uh, uh, Asian water spinach. I already have a video on YouTube on my channel that uh, showcases some of my uh, own choice, the uh, starter plant that I bought from the nursery. But here I want to show to everybody uh, some of the stem that I've been trying to root. Okay, so Ong Choi it's the semi aquatic uh, plant and is, it, it really uh, thrives in uh, the water environment. So, by that logic, I think the cutting will, will definitely root. So, it doesn't hurt to try. So, what I did is take the most mature cuttings from the vegetable and try to root them. And as you can see, this is after five days of rooting, after five days in water, and the plant's already producing roots. Uh, this is about six inches, uh, the cutting is about six inches. And if you look at this one here, look at the root system. This is a beautiful root system here. So every growth point here, you can see this root. And also the, look at this, the stem and the leaves is also developing. Uh, this is only in water, so there's no nutrients, there's absolutely nothing at all to help the plant uh, develop. And as you can see, the, uh, the, the stem or the cuttings develop extremely fast and in a voracious manner. Now, Ong Choi in Asia, it's a, it's a perennial, it's in the tropics. It grows throughout the summer, in, as a matter of fact, it grows throughout the years in the tropics. And it's a aquatic and semi-aquatic plants. It can grow up to about maybe three or four meters long. Uh, in America, of course, this is considered a noxious weed by the U.S. government, and you can't grow them in several states, as I mentioned in my first video. Uh, Florida, California, and even Texas. Uh, you cannot buy the seeds, by the way, but the starter plant, you can actually buy them from the nursery. And I do have a video on that on my YouTube channel that, uh, that I have actually bought three uh, three of the starter plants. So what I did is from here is I took just took about six inches of the cutting uh, from the vegetable that we ate and then uh, this has only been five days and as you can see that the roots are well developed. Now this is the second time I tried to root this plant. The first time I root I tried it and it worked but when I plant them on the ground for whatever reason uh, none of them survive they dried out and they die. So now I have to rethink how to transplant them on the ground or in a container. Uh, they need a lot of moisture, so maybe the moisture was a factor. Um, so when you first when you first try to root this, uh, you would try to put them into at least filter water, uh, just give give them better uh, condition to 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 form the roots. Uh, the regular faucet water, I think, would be okay too, but it might contain high level chlorine, so you may not, it might inhibit the uh, the growth. That's just my thought, but I think it should be okay. But look, if you look at some of the, every one of them has roots. I have, I have several that did not root, maybe it was rotted or something, I don't know. But majority of them had beautiful roots. So I think once it has a few more leaves here, and I will probably, probably put them in the pot first and try to grow them in a pot. And like I say, this is completely indoor so far, no sunlight. So they might like, at the beginning, they might like the shade or in a cool environment, so the roots will develop. Uh, they are a summer vegetable, so they, they will like the sun. but they will definitely uh, require a lot of moisture. So this is uh, Ong Choi, Chinese, uh, in Chinese, and uh, also known as Asian water spinach. And uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.